Hi guys, we were just um, talking about Arclex. There is somebody who says I can't boot into Arclex. I said, okay, do you have an Arclex available? Is, is one of your computers an Arclex system? Yeah, it says. So look, you give, we give you the power to build your own ISO. And this particular person is in need of, what was it again, a GTX? 2060, 3060. Anyway, he needs the NVIDIA driver. And when he boots up with our ISO of today, the kernel does not recognize that particular uh, hardware, piece of hardware. So, black screen. Doesn't know what it is? Black screen. I say, look, we have articlenexb.com. It's a separate website because of the fact that it is entirely for people who want to build the B stands for build we build it so you can build it yeah it's not difficult and i told them look choose whatever iso you like to start with a b or a d or just a flagship with three of our desktops what you do is you git clone it and it's already explained i'm afraid on the website right but there are tutorials in here let's build our colleagues and add the driver basically at NVIDIA. That was my message to him and I hope he'll get back to me and tell me if it worked on his system because all our systems, my systems anyway, have no issue whatsoever. So it is hardware dependent, always. Okay, was this git clone twice? Yeah, I do that from time to time. So my control shift V has already git clone it twice git clone is not a good approach in the meantime you can have a look at the newest one fvwmr no it doesn't really speak very well not fluent but it's it's this it's name right so packages Ugh. right <laughs> let's get myself a pacman minus s all our b's are minimal so we don't have melt we don't have gimp we don't have sublime text we don't have a browser so lots of things needs to be installed afterwards but that's okay that's why they're minimal double click now sublime text kicks in and all you need to do is scroll the way down and just keep adding th stuff you like vivaldi i don't know in this case nvidia nvidia utils and nvidia settings where do i get these words from Control alt no not you Ctrl Alt T sudo pack man minus s nvidia. These are the things you can put on your ISO. Okay, so that's it. I've done my, I've made my choices. I'm gonna go for nvidia, nvidia utils, nvidia settings. Um, DKMS is for people who have a different kernel so it actually is going to build modules depending on the kernel you have a zen kernel hardened kernel linux kernel linux lds kernel right but this is the easiest way to install this is for the linux kernel since i have a linux kernel not a linux lts or anything like that this would be my choice for my machine which i can't test because everything works here out of the box but when you install this when you build this Right, it will immediately boot up with the NVIDIA drivers functioning, which means you can uh, start NVIDIA settings, you'll see that it's been used. So to recapitulate, git clone, three lines, one level up, installation credits, 40. Build it, or is it, if it's the first time of the day, in my case, doesn't matter because I don't have any cache or almost no cache so everything needs to be downloaded and that's the difference between 30 and 40 here is going to use the cache that you downloaded this morning an hour ago five minutes ago and here everything is 30 everything is a clean out and install or, or download again and install so that's it guys let's see the video that we had so alt tab there is already this here. Let's build Arch Linux and add a driver to it. Get better support. 
So here we have added XF86 Video Nouveau. I think this can have a place, this video can have a place in this particular article because it's indeed about drivers, NVIDIA is a driver and um, I'll update the text and put the video in here. I can't test it, I, I only see, well, yeah, I can test it on the, one machine but um, that machine also boots up fine without NVIDIA so it is sometimes a conundrum a challenge on Linux to figure out how to boot everything but then again once that's done <laughs> there is no challenge anymore and you will re realize it was just knowledge you were missing all right let's um, end the video here the end result will be an ISO the ISO will be on your home folder here and Arc Linux out will have an ISO burn it on USB and try it out all right cheers